This is a CBS 4 News update. Good morning, I'm Carly Barnett. A Doral police officer is being investigated after drawing his weapon on a man and breaking his leg while pulling him out of his car. That video tough to watch. This happened last May at a Shell gas station after state prosecutors reviewed the video and conflicting chain of events in his arrest report. Prosecutors decided not to move forward with the charges against 31 year old Craig Nimbard. Police say Nimbard crashed charged at them with his car after receiving a traffic ticket. His attorney released a statement saying he was grateful the whole incident was recorded and is seeking justice. The Doral Police Department also released a statement saying they are conducting their own investigation. And a Broward School District investigation found that a security specialist who was working at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School during last year's mass shooting did not violate any policies or procedures. The investigation centered on Kelvin Greenleaf. It determined that because he was not in a supervisory role, it was not his job to make sure campus monitors knew how or when to call a code red or conduct a code red drill. Greenleaf has been working at school board headquarters during the investigation, and it's not known if he will ever return return to work at MSD. A portion of the no contact with water advisory in Miami-Dade has been removed. The advisory was issued Saturday. The Miami-Dade Water and Sewer Department said a power outage at the Central District Wastewater Treatment Plant caused an overflow of fully treated chlorinated water. Beaches that remain within the no contact with water advisory include Crandon North, Virginia Key Beach and Fisher Island. You are reminded to avoid recreational water activities. Now we have a CBS 4 News traffic alert. Closures on I-95 near downtown Miami will impact late night and early morning drivers. All northbound lanes of I-95 were shut down overnight between State Road 836 and State Road 112 while crews installed overhead signs. Closures will repeat tonight and tomorrow. You can use Biscayne Boulevard as a possible alternate. Now, CBS 4 weather with meteorologist Lisette Gonzalez. Happy Wednesday. It is a warm, muggy start. Upper 70s in Miami, Fort Lauderdale, 83 in Key West. And as we look at the radar, we are quiet and dry. Winds calm, light. Could see some patchy fog in spots this morning, but near record heat this afternoon. Highs in the low 90s, a chance for a few showers. The rain chance low today. Tonight, warm with the potential for inland fog and mid to upper 70s. Overnight, tomorrow, hot again and steamy low 90s. Afternoon storms, Friday a better chance of rain spotty storms into the weekend unsettled and we could see scattered to numerous storms, Carly. That is the news for now and you can always find us on CBSMiami.com. Tune into CBS 4 News at 5, 6, 7 and 11 for all of the day's important headlines.